order. Um, our first order of business is the introduction of the CASA Executive Director. Ms. Thrasher, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, I am honored to be here this morning to introduce to you our new Executive Director with CASA. Um, I'm part of the board, and we've obviously had some ups and downs over the last year, kind of trying to find our footing. And we brought Elaine on at the end of September, and she has hit the ground running. She came with a lot of experience from the Alapa Hall circuit, um, which helped definitely get things rolling here in our community. And so I wanted to give her an opportunity to introduce herself and speak a little bit about what she's accomplished in a very short period of time. Good morning, as I know most of you. Good morning. Thank you so much. Um, I know probably about five or six years ago, I spoke with Bill and Joyce um, in the chambers, I believe, here, and spoke about CASA and what it would take to bring CASA to, to um, Lowndes County. Even though I live in Lowndes, I was the CASA director then, like Paul Circuit, but I always had the desire for the children here to have a voice. So I knew that um, county commissioners could get behind um, our judges our community and bring CASA here. So I never thought that I would be standing before you as the executive director. So I'm totally honored, totally honored. Um, I can promise you it was not my plan. God always has a big plan for us. And so when God tells you to move, you move. And so um, I helped him with a book of grant, to help Jeff Hardy with that. Um, and then came to the board and talked with them about what they need to be looking for as an executive director. So at the end of it, they asked me would I become their executive director, and I was like, I'll help you find one. <laughs> so um, I, did, I told them I'd have to pray about it, and so that night I couldn't sleep as we all know when God speaks to us, and I kept waking up and knowing that I, the struggles that um, Lowndes County had already had with the CASA program, I knew that I couldn't just sit back and wait, because I was planning on retiring from the Glide Hall Circuit in January 2024. So wow, that went a long ways, didn't it? So anyway, here I am, and I accepted that position with my husband's um, blessings and total support of being your executive director for Casa of Lowndes and Eccles County. I can tell you right up front that Casa means the world to me, and Casa has been my mission. I wouldn't say the last 15 years because when I came on board 15 years ago, I became a director for Court Appointed Special Advocate and Neglected and Abused Children. I thought I'd do that for five years and I'd find something else to do that was a little closer home. Um, and it had become a mission. So it was like I just couldn't leave the children, I couldn't leave the families that we advocated for. So I'm truly honored that I'm 4.9 miles from my home now and I get to do and I get to serve the children in our in our circuit. So Thank you again for your support um, for CASA. And like I've told many organizations that I've already spoken to, I can't do it by myself. The board can't do it by themselves. The community in general has got to get behind the CASA program and support these children and families that we're advocating for. There's actually 327 children right now that's in Lowndes County foster care system. That's a lot of children. Probably one of the biggest counties of children um, that we have throughout the state. So we are covered out, covered up in the whole state of Georgia now, so every county in Georgia has the CASA program. And as you know, Lowndes and Eccles was one of the last two that signed on. So I'm just um, excited and really can't believe that I'm here with you and talking with you and working with you. So I look forward to our relationship and our building of our relationship. So the many things that we've already done is um, we furnished totally the Casa House. It looks nice. I hope you'll stop by and visit and look at it. Joyce has already stopped by and looked and visited with us. We've already started our first class. We have a class of eight. So I'm super excited about that. We're on chapter eight tomorrow night, and there's eight chapters. Our volunteers actually go through 30 hours of classroom training, and they do 10 hours court observation. Um, they've done some um, hours with Judge Tunison already and Judge Council. So that prepares them to get ready to advocate for these children in the courtroom. So they do a total of 40 hours of training and then they'll do continuing education classes. So our volunteers will be sworn in January the 17th. I'm super excited about that. I'm gonna personally invite each and every one of you and you will get an invitation. Cause I know it didn't just happen overnight. I know this has been a process. And so we'd really like for every one of you to be there. Um, and so it will be January 17th at 11.30 at the Juvenile Courtroom. Uh, 
I would say the jail, but probably the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department might sound better. Um, so anyway, so it will be there, and I'd really love for you guys to be a part of that. Because I always look back at 15 years ago, our first class that we swore in, I've never forgotten those. So those volunteers that have stepped up, or our volunteers, has given their time and their heart freely to advocate for the children in our circuit, or in Lowndes and Eccles County. So I would invite you to be a part of that because this is our first class and they're going to step out and they're superstars to me. So they will be advocating for children that's in Lowndes County, so that will be our first set. Um, I've just done so much, and I say I, and then, then we've also incorporated some we's in there as well. Um, just moving forward with the both grant, we were granted that $20,250, and so we were able to hire a part-time volunteer coordinator so she will help train and advocate um, and supervise our volunteers as well. So we're just moving forward. We've spoken at many clubs already. Um, so also, um, I will be reaching out and also always looking at um, ways that we can fund our program. We'll be looking at fundraisers. So just moving forward, doing the same things I've done for the last 15 years, asking for donations, asking for volunteers, asking for people just to come in and work in the in the CASA office and just learning more about the CASA programs what I'm asking you to do today and be able to remember that these children did not sign up as we all know to be in foster care so these um, volunteers will actually be in the courtroom and giving these children a voice whether they would they would not have a voice without our CASA volunteers so they will actually be on this case about 18 months usually that's in the perfect world Sometimes we don't live in the perfect world. These children stay in care three, four, five years. So our CASA volunteers work on that urgency of getting them out of care and getting them into a permanent home, whether it be back with their home or with a guardian or adoption. So I just, I just hope that you pray for each and one of our children and our families um, that they will find that permanency sooner than later. So I always thank each and every one of you for your time and your efforts. Um, and please stop by and see us and, and talk with me because I can promise you I could probably talk to you for an hour or two. Probably half a day. So I just, I just thank each and every one of you and feel like I go a long way back with our families. And so just feel like that. I know many of you, um, and, and Paige was one of those that I, um, that I spoke with about the CASA program becoming, coming into Lowndes and Eccles. So just keep us in, on your radar and keep us in mind and be a part of the CASA program. That's all I'm asking you to do for CASA. Where do we go to find you? I'm at the Casa House, so you go turn on Prison Farm Road, and it's right there at that building facing, so it's 1503 Madison Highway. Okay. So if you're going to go into, go toward the Sheriff's Department, it's right there on the right. right. So super excited about having a whole house to ourselves. Working on getting the couch just in case I get tired and lay down the rest for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just super excited about all the opportunities and so many people has just stepped up and um, been so supportive and calling me and so that's been a nice breath of fresh air for people that want, want to get involved and our board of directors has just been super. Um, I could not have asked for anyone to have welcomed me and wanted me to be here and, 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 and that want this program to, to work and they just hung in here and I, I'm just saying them and I'm like okay. I know they're, they're a working board, they want to be here, they want these volunteers here, they want the children to have a voice, so that means a lot that we have um, a board, and we have a community, and we have the commissioners that's behind the CASA program, so I hope that we will continue wanting to learn more and more about our CASA program. Commissioners, y'all want to take a second to come down and get a photo? <laughs>